Hello Internet. I believe that I finally found my own style, so I can tell you what you can do to find yours. It took me around three and a half years to find a comfortable way of drawing. At the time, I believed that I will not become a popular artist until I invent distinctive art style, which is not true. You can have awesomest art style and still be unknown. So for the first two years, I was stressing about the fact that I don't have a style. I was learning how to draw realistically and all the fundamentals, but at the same time I did a lot of drawings in different popular art styles. I remember I tried comic book style, but I wasn't really feeling it. I realized that I enjoy colorful and detailed illustrations, but at the same time I didn't want to be hyper-realistic artist because I thought what is so special uh, about drawing that looks like exact copy of a picture and people won't even know that this is actually a drawing. So even though I liked how others draw in cartoonish or anime style, I didn't want to try it myself. I remember that one of the first things that I was doing to stand out, I wasn't drawing irises. Later I found out that this is very common practice among beginners. So I was doing it because I watched a Japanese movie called Snakes and Earrings and there was someone who didn't want her tattoos to be fully finished. She wanted to keep their eyes white because she thought that if to finish them fully they will come alive and will fly away from her. Let's talk about what you can do right now to help yourself to find out your style real fast. First thing you can do is to try art style band challenge. So you need to show your art to your friends or to ask your Instagram followers what are the key points of your art. Let's say they told you that your art is very bright has many details and your characters are cute with big eyes and realistic proportions. Your task is to redraw your art completely opposite to what they told you. You need to change everything, uh, to use dark colors, to minimize the details, to change the proportions of characters and so on. This challenge is good exercise to get you out of your comfort zone and to help you discover different methods of drawing. You can find a lot of examples of this challenge on Instagram using art style band hashtag and to see some inspiration art. So the second exercise uh, will require you to get reference and you need to make very detailed drawing, try to make it as similar to the original reference as possible. When you're done with it, do the second drawing of the same reference, but this time you need to change all the details. You need to draw eyes differently, nose differently, hair and everything. When you're done with this one, do the third drawing and again you need to change everything. You can't draw any part the same way as you did before. After you're done with the third drawing, you need to make more and more and more. You can actually do 5, 10, 20 or 50, but every time you need to change everything. This will help your brain to generate ideas really fast. You will make it think hard. If you run out of ideas, you can actually look up at other artists and pick their way of drawing. You don't need to post the results of this exercise, you're just doing it to yourself. You're making it to practice different ways of drawing the same things. You may notice that some ways are more comfortable for you than the others and this is the sign that you're on a right way to find your style. And the last exercise that I find really helpful is setting up the timer for 30 seconds, 3 minutes, 30 minutes and 3 hours. And doing the same drawing, but when you have more time, you add more details. It will also help your brain to work faster because you have limited time and you need to finish your drawing before this time runs out. These are just quick ways of inventing an art style. But I would recommend you to go a long way and here is why. 
you're drawing for less than two years, you don't need to worry or think about having an art style. It is more important for you now to learn and practice fundamentals. You might not want to draw in realism or you're just too lazy to read about color theory, but knowing them will make a huge difference later when you start stylizing your art. Knowledge of anatomy will help you to make balanced changes of body proportions. How can you draw a cool and convincing stylized character if you don't know how to draw it in realism? People might not know anatomy or rules of perspective, but when they see a drawing with broken anatomy, their brain tells them that something is off, so drawing doesn't look convincing and doesn't look pleasing to the eyes. Also, it is always a good thing to be able to do realism. You're a beginner artist, you obviously lack an experience. Practice is good because you try different ways and techniques of drawing the same things and eventually finding comfortable for yourself way of drawing. For me, style is just drawing comfortably everything you want without overthinking when art becomes more intuitive. Another thing why finding an art style takes so long is because you need to fill the library inside of your head. You need to observe lots of references, artworks, surroundings, movies, and so on. When someone says, oh, you just redraw the same thing from a picture I thought you drew from imagination, I try to explain them that Drawing highly detailed art piece from imagination is not that easy. Imagination is not a limitless source of ideas and you can't just take stuff from it all the time. Part of your job is to put lots and lots of stuff into your head, into that source. For this reason, you need to observe and analyze stuff you see and stuff you draw. So, usage of references and doing research before starting another artwork is vital when you learn drawing. You probably have your favorite artist and hope to draw like that in the future, but have you even thought why exactly you like their art? You probably heard about still like an artist thing and your style will form based on the artists you like. You will take small details, techniques, color palettes from lots and lots of different artists and will incorporate that into your own artworks, eventually creating your own style out of that mix, your own Frankenstein style. This is how it works for all of us, honestly. So save yourself some time and analyze the artworks of your favorite artists. You can watch their speed paints, their step-by-step -step process. Honestly, these days most of the artists have Patreons, so supporting your idol artists, you can also learn lots from them. Personally, I like to watch speed paints. I learn so much from them. So watching speed paints is my favorite thing to do. I think it's a good thing when you um, zoom in close into the artwork and try to notice details, try to see the colors your favorite artist or any artist use. Um, so do your researches, put as much as you can into your head and practice, practice, practice. It is important to keep in mind that you're going to evolve and develop as an artist throughout your whole art journey, honestly and your style will keep changing. There is only one important step that you need to take throughout each phase until you develop your art style. It's just keep making art. Just draw everything you like. Keep yourself motivated. What really helps is just drawing the things you like. If you don't like to draw landscape, just don't. If you don't like drawing fruits and tablecloth or anything like that just don't if you like drawing pretty girls just draw pretty girls and of course take all the advices even this video and any other video with a grain of salt there is no universal way 
uh, to find an art style. We're all different and we all have our different path. So just enjoy creating, learn fundamentals and make mistakes. It's just all part of a journey. Thank you for watching um, this video. Come back when I post another one. Thank you, bye!